We're going to be taking a look at the information on pages Excel 86 and 87 in which we're going to change the chart design. Once you've created a chart, you can change the chart type, modify the data range and column row configuration, apply a different chart style, and change the layout of objects in the chart. The layouts in the chart layouts group on the chart tools design tab offer arrangements of objects in your chart, such as its legend, title, or grid lines. Choosing one of these layouts is an alternative to manually changing the objects or how the objects are arranged in the chart, similar to as we did in one of the previous videos. If we take a look on step one on page Excel 86, it tells us that we want to click on cell D11. Once we're on cell D11, it wants us to modify this information and we're going to type in 4000 568.92. Once we have that, we're going to press our Enter key, and of course, you'll notice that the information has been changed both in our data as well as uh, in our chart. Once we have this here, we're now going to change this, which is going to be uh, D12. We're going to change this to 6107. 0.09 and then we're going to press enter as well and so we've modified that data uh, on there now in the chart the quarter three data markers for the Japan and the United States reflect the adjusted expense figures in step two we're going to select the chart on here by clicking uh, just in a blank area within the chart border now if you click somewhere else like this area you're going to notice that the uh, there's going to be additional uh, selections that's there. Uh, you want to make sure that just the chart is selected so nothing else has sizing hand, resizing handles or anything else in the chart. Once we have that, we're going to click the Chart uh, Tools Design tab, and which is on the ribbon, and we're going to click the Quick Layout button. And of course that's in the Chart Layouts group. And we're going to switch this up to Layout Three, which is on the top row uh, and it's the third column over. Once we choose layout 3 we notice that the legend moves to the bottom of the chart but in this case we actually preferred the original layout what we were working on previously. So we can go ahead and uh, we can just click our undo button which is on step 3 on the quick access toolbar and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to change the chart type uh, on there. So on step three, once we click on our undo button, we're going to click the change chart type button, which is in our type group. Now, of course, a quick tip, you can see more layout choices by clicking the more button in the chart styles group. Now, the chart uh, change chart uh, type uh, dialog box has now opened up. Now the left pane of this dialog box lists the available categories. So we see there's templates, column, line, bar, area, and so forth that's on there. And the right pane is going to show us the individual chart types. Now of course a pale green border surrounds the currently selected chart type. So we see that this right here, which if you move your mouse over it kind of gives you a larger preview of it, but this one right here is our selected chart. In step four, it tells us that we want to go to the left-hand side over here in the left pane, and we want to click on the bar uh, chart category. And then, of course, we want to confirm that the first clustered bar chart type is selected, which that's this one right here. So we just want to make sure that that is selected in the right-hand pane, and we're going to click on OK. Now, the column chart changes to a clustered uh, bar chart. Now, of course, you look at the bar chart, and of course, it kind of looks cluttered, doesn't it, uh, on there? But uh, so we figure that it may look a little bit different if maybe if we put this in 3D uh, on there. So we're going to go back up, and we're going to go back up to the change chart type, and this is, of course, step five on page Excel 86. And we're going to click on the change chart type button, and then we're going to go back and we're going to click on the column in the left pane uh, on there. And then we're going to go down and we're going to uh, go over here to the right hand side and of course notice that we got some different selections up at the top here. 
we're going to choose the 3D clustered column. And that is this fourth option, and that's this one right here that I have my mouse pointer over right here. And it's the fourth from the left in the top row, the right pane. Once you click on that, we want to verify that the left 3D chart is selected. Once we have that, we're just going to go ahead and click OK. And now a three-dimensional column chart appears. Now, of course, we're noticing that the three-dimensional column uh, format gives us a sense of volume. So it kind of gives us a little bit of an angle, makes those uh, data uh, points kind of stand out to us a little bit. However, in this case, it's a bit more crowded than the two-dimensional column format. So it looks a little bit better in 2D, and sometimes you have to do this. You have to go through there and experiment just a little bit. So in step six, we're going to go back up to the Change Chart Type button in the Type group up on the ribbon and we're going to go back uh, to the first selection here which is the clustered column and then we're going to make sure that the first selection is uh, chosen for us on there and we're going to click on OK and of course that takes us back to where we were uh, on there and then next we're going to go back um, on here and we're going to click the style 3 chart style in the chart styles group. So we're going to expand this up here and of course notice that once again we can use the screen tips and there's style 1, style 2, and we want to choose this style right here because it tells us to click the style 3 chart style in the chart styles group. Now the columns change to a lighter shades of color. Now you prefer the previous chart styles color theme so to do that we can just click on undo and that gets us back to the chart as we were. Go ahead and save your work. Now of course a quick tip, if you plan to print a chart in black and white uh, on there or on a black and white printer, you may wish to apply a black and white chart style so you can see how the output will look as you work. Because you know the colors look really nice but sometimes you know you have different shades of gray here and uh, sometimes it's hard to read so uh, sometimes you may want to change that to just a black and white uh, style that way so you can see exactly how it's going to look. Once we have this just go ahead and save your work and on the bottom of uh, page Excel 86 it talks a little about creating a combination chart and of course a combination chart is two charts in one. A column chart with a line chart for an example would be a combination chart. This type of chart is helpful when uh, charting dissimilar but related data. For an example, you create a combination chart based on home price and home size data. Showing home prices in a column chart and related home sizes in a line chart. Now here a secondary axis such as a vertical axis on the right side of the chart would supply the scale for the home sizes. Now to create a combination chart you would have to select all the data you want to plot and then click the recommended charts in the charts group in the insert tab and then click the all charts tab and then you can select combo now and then you can supply the series information that conforms to the chart you want to create and then you can click OK now to change an existing chart to a combination chart you must first select the chart then click the change chart type in the, ch uh, the type group on the charts uh, tool uh, design tab and then you can click combo in the change chart type dialog box and select the secondary access box um, for each data series you want to plot and then you can change the chart type to line and click OK. Now on page Excel 87 it talks a little bit about working with a 3D chart in which we saw a 3D chart just a few moments ago and of course Excel includes two kinds of 3D chart types. Now in a true 3D chart a third axis called a z-axis lets you compare data points across both categories and values. Now the z-axis runs along the depth of the chart so it appears to advance from the back of the chart. Now to create a true 3D chart look for chart types that begin with 3D such as 3D column. Now in a 3D chart data series can sometimes obscure other columns or bars in the same chart but you can rotate the chart to obtain a better view. Uh, you can right click the chart then click 3D rotation. Now the format chart area pane will open up with the 3D rotation category active 
and the 3D rotation option lets you change the orientation and perspective of the chart area, plot area, walls, and floor. The 3D format category lets you apply three-dimensional effects to the selected chart objects. And of course, not all 3D rotation and 3D format options are available in all charts. And that concludes the information on pages Excel 86 and 87. Uh, remember to save your work and you're ready to move on to the next video.